Hello, my name is Travis Schwark, and I'm the Product Application Specialist for Large Soil Compactors. And today, it's my pleasure to introduce the new A15. The A15 continues to build upon the legacy of Caterpillar's tamping foot compactors. We have kept many components the same that have been tested and accepted in the field on the A15K, but have made feature enhancements to improve operator comfort and owning and operating costs. We want to target customers who need to compact large amounts of soil, so large production jobs such as highways, airports, dams, or large parking lots. So let's get started with the features and benefits of the all-new A15. As you can see here, the A15 is still equipped with our tamping wheels with chevron style tips. These wheels are effective at compacting semi-cohesive and cohesive soils. Due to the chevron style tips, wear life can be extended due to soil on soil compaction. To maintain traction, we have two different type of cleaner bar options, as you can see here. We have the standard cleaner bars and the abrasive cleaner bars. Both bars are adjustable. The abrasive cleaner bars are ideal for soil conditions that contain rocky or sandy material. The bars are cast and hardened to extend the wear life of the cleaner bar. The 815 is equipped with a straight blade that comes standard with a two-way tilt system. There's also an optional four-way tilt system. The blade is primarily used to knock down high spots during the compaction portion of the job, but can also be used for light spreading or dozing to manage the fill on the job site. Managing the fill on the job site is where the four-way tilt system shines. The tilt blade allows you to use less support equipment such as a track dozer during the compaction portion of the job. We centralized a lot of the daily maintenance activities here in the articulation area of the machine. All areas that need to be greased are centrally located and ground accessible, such as both ends of the steering cylinder, the carrier bearing, the drive shaft, the hitch, and the rear trunnion. The transmission fill is tucked inside the frame along with the sight gauge for the transmission oil. The fuel tank is tucked inside the front frame here, and the A15 can be configured with two different options for fuel tanks. You have the standard fill, and you have the fast fill option. The fast fill fuel tank is equipped with a receiver like you see here that allows up to 150 gallons per minute to get the machine back up and running quickly. As we make our way to the rear of the machine, I want to point out the engine compartment. The doors are made of steel with a heavy duty recessed latch. Now we have to remove this pin and as the doors are swung open, you can see how wide open the engine compartment is. This is for inspecting the components on the engine and the turbo. We conveniently locate the high-speed oil fill in this compartment. The high-speed oil fill is included standard on the A15 to get the machine back up and running quicker after a preventative maintenance interval. I'd like to draw your attention to the ground accessible electrical service center. The electrical service center is protected by a flush-mounted latch door some of the components inside the electrical service center are the jump start receptacle, the master disconnect switch, the emergency fuel shutoff switch, some breakers, and the death purge lamp. The death purge lamp stays lit when death is purging from the lines. Once it is off, it is safe to turn off the master disconnect. The death fill has been located on this side of the machine as well and is behind a hinge lockable latch door. Here you have the death filler neck, a sealed cap which is remote ventilated, and we have seals around the door to help keep contamination out of the death filler area. We have a heavy duty rear step to get onto the platform to fill the shunt tank and we also have the sight gauge located up there on the top of the radiator enclosure. We have side access doors located on both sides of the radiator enclosure. These doors are here to clean out the cooling package in case any debris gets sucked in through the engine driven fan. Now, as I mentioned before, we designed the A15 with service in mind and the rear machine outlines this even further. The A15 is equipped with a swing out rear grille that can be held open with a prop rod, making sure the door stays open as you're performing your maintenance activities. We also have the AC condenser and coolers grouped here for ease of access and clean out as needed. For our European customers, we are now offering an EU sound suppression package to meet sound regulations in Europe. We are accomplishing this by extending the back half of the radiator enclosure and adding sound suppression material to lower spectator sound to acceptable levels. As we move over to the right hand side of the machine, we have the same type of doors as we do on the other side. This compartment houses the primary and the secondary fuel filters, the engine oil filter, the engine dipstick, and the standard engine fill. We also locate the HVAC system on the right hand portion of the operator enclosure. 
Underneath the hinge door of the HVAC system, you can locate the primary cab filter, the washer bottle fluid fill, as well as the standard turbine pre-cleaner, which helps keep the cab pressurized. One of the other improvements we made on the A15 was we designed back in the radial style engine air filter. This filter has a larger surface area, which resolves face plugging issues, which will improve air filter maintenance intervals, resulting in lower owning and operating costs. Now, before we head up into the operator enclosure, I just wanted to point out where our powertrain and hydraulic oil filters are. They are located behind this steel plate here that can be removed by removing those six bolts. Now, let's head up into the operator enclosure. The A15K has the best cab in the industry, and with the new A15, we made further enhancements to improve the comfort of the operator. The A15 cab is equipped standard with a CAT Premium Plus seat, which is actively cooled and heated, has power lumbar and back bolster adjustments, a leather finish, and a dynamic dampening system. It is the top of the line seat that Caterpillar offers. One of the other improvements we made to the new A15 is we lowered the in-cab sound by removing the component noise of the stick steering valve. The stick steering is still located in the left-hand joystick device with the gear and directional shifts, as well as the steering lockout. The right-hand device is the implement pod. Here you have all blade control functions. You have raise and tilt if equipped. You also have the turn signals, the horn, and the throttle lock switch. So why is throttle lock important? Well, when throttle lock is enabled, the operator can lock the engine speed and then control the ground speed with the decelerator or transmission neutralizer pedal. This greatly improves the productivity and fuel efficiency of the machine. Now, over here we have the info display that contains all the vital information of the machine. And beneath that, you have a few switches. You have the parking brake switch, the hydraulic lockout switch, your key start switch, as well as a keypad that contains buttons for, the, for enabling throttle lock and the decelerator pedal, heated mirrors if equipped, the backlight dimmer, and the help assistance button. The cab pillar over here contains most of the cab environment switches, such as the rear and front windshield wipers. You also have the air conditioning switch. You have the temperature and fan controls. You also have a bunch of lights. You have running, working, as well as the beacon light. Let's talk a little bit more about the substantial efficiency improvements on the CAT A15 with the optional technology offerings. Compaction control with machine drive power, or MDP, is an indicate system that can provide the operator real-time information when soil compaction is achieved. This system can substantially reduce fuel costs and unnecessary passes made on the job site compared to conventional methods. With the A15, we are now offering CAT Compact or GPS mapping from the factory as an optional attachment. CAT Compact provides an onboard pass mapping system where an operator can see in real time the locations the machine has been and how many passes have been completed on the job site. This system also allows the operator to see what areas of the job site have met compaction with MDP mapping, and they can visually display the cut fill design of the job site. All this information can then be transferred to the back office through VisionLink so the job site manager can manage reports and find opportunities to further improve efficiency of the A15. As the A15 is commonly transported from job site to job site, we want to keep components off the top of the cab. We have a fold down beacon as well as we move the horns from the top of the cab to the front of the cab. In closing, the A15 continues to build upon the long history of the successful A15 predecessors. With improved owning and operating costs, improved cab comfort, and introduction of CAT Compact from the factory, the A15 will provide long-term value to its customers. For more information on the A15, dealers can access dealer.cat.com and customers can access cat.com. Thank you for your time today. It has been my pleasure.